can join the bank holiday weekend. Silly hat. Yeah, I know. Um, just going to start uh, this week's uh, video just with a just a little bit of a warning. Nothing too dire or anything like that. Silly hat. Um, main reason being is uh, uh, you can't see it. Take my hat off. Just up here on the side of my head there, I've had a mark since um, well, since April in the year. Um, just a little tiny mark, won't go away or anything like that. Um, and I decided to get it checked out by the doctor this week and it's a little bit sun damage. As koi keepers, um, gardeners, you know, we're outside an awful lot in all weathers, but you know, this year particularly with the sun we've had and everything like that. You know, I normally wear a baseball cap, but when you get out and you're working and you get hot, you tend to take it off, throw it to one side, try and cool down a bit. But yeah, um, got a little bit of sun damage there. Uh, like I said, had it checked out. Um, and the thing is, it is a form of skin cancer. Um, nothing to worry about, not gonna kill me, um, but it needs to be sorted. So basically I just thought I'd mention this just so that you're aware, you know, if you get anything, little marks appear on the hair, the arm or anything like that and it doesn't go away, just get it checked out, you know, it could be something serious. Like I said, I'm lucky, mine can be burnt out with a bit of dry ice or even possibly treated with the cream and it'll go away, so it's, it's not life threatening or anything like that, but, you know, you hear the C word and it just sort of, you know, makes you sit up and think a little bit and panic a little bit. Anyway, doom and gloom over. So, um, this week uh, uh, I've got some new food to show you. Uh, pick it up, it's a price I couldn't um, resist. Uh, I had an impromptu visit down to ATM Coy um, down in Columpton, Devon. Um, you know, I was going it's I say impromptu, I was gonna go there and then the missus said no we didn't want to and then sort of like then we did, then we didn't want to. So we weren't going to but we're still going down to Exmouth for a day. Uh, we did it over once. So it's only over an hour away from where I live. And um and we got sort of like about three quarters of the way down there and she's like, Oh yeah, go on, let's, you know, let's go up there. Um yeah, very nice people down there at ACM Coy. Um you know the main show featuring is uh, yeah, got some absolute clonkers in there, and I'm talking clonkers. And um, viewers who are sort of like also subscribe to James Coy with his channel may recognise this place as his being his a local um, toy dealer. So yeah, just a little, uh, just a very ad lib quick little look at the uh, fish that he's got there. Uh, that's where I picked up the food from. That I got some sake uh, food. Um, the price I couldn't resist. It is the cheaper version, but you know, at the price we were offering it for, I couldn't resist it. Um, but I needed a bit more just to tie me through the rest of the summer. So we get on with that. And also, I had some new filters turn up for the dechlorinator. Um, seem to be getting through about once every two months now. So. I made and, uh, and the Koi Diaries uh, competition and I have a double set put on there so they go through the two sets and hopefully can do that because I can't afford a big blue. I sort of did ask about the prices of them when I was down at ACM and um, I nearly fell over. Um, yeah, 300 odd quid. <laughs> yeah, for a dechlorinator. Yeah, I know, I know we need it. Some people think we need it. You know, but whenever it's Koi, it just seems to be money after money. Uh, I'm still trying to save up enough money for the air source heat pump and um, I just seem to be trilling water on that, I just don't seem to be getting anywhere but I really 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 need to sort that out so uh, anybody knows that there any second hand ones going at a decent price, preferably the inverter type, um, you know let me know on here and uh, you know, it'd be a big help, you know, so I really need to get this sorted before winter comes in. Uh, I can't afford to run the inline heater again this year. That was just, you know, we didn't have the coldest of winters either. But, I mean, it was just astronomical how much electricity those inline ones use. They are great, don't get me wrong, they do the job, and if you can afford the electricity and you want to heat your pond, and that's your only option, then, yeah, go for it. But, like I said, they 
you know, the amount of electricity they use, it's like having a kettle turned on virtually permanently. Or two kettles if it's two kilowatt, or three if it's a three kilowatt. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it worked, kept the fish nice and healthy all winter, but I really need an SRC pump. Uh, I can't do gas, not with my setup and, you know, the way it works. So anyway, on with the video, we'll have a quick look at the fish and that lot. And um, at the end, I'll show you the uh, ACM toy sort of the semi visit a little bit of a natter going on and stuff like that anyway guys hope you enjoyed the rest of your bank holiday um and uh have a good time and i'll catch you in a little while see you in a bit bye so the fish are all doing well um temperatures are not that uh, the dropping the temperatures are not from a little bit off the feed uh, there's nothing else wrong with them, it's just like the dropping temperatures, I'm down to 15 at the moment. Um, and the heavy rain we had, uh, I mean, I tried to tried to get some of the um, security uh, security cam footage offloaded when it was coming down. Uh, uh, I mean, it was literally like, you know, a sheet or a waterfall, it was coming down that heavy. The overflow on the pond was struggling to keep up and the pond was coming up and up and up. Um, but you know, the, you know, the fish are fine. They were loving it. They were still feeding, sort of in it. But it's it's been weird old weather, to say the least. Yeah, but everybody's doing well. Um, still got to move those two on. Like I said, there's a young lad who's going to take him. He's got his own YouTube channel. I'll post a link down behind there. He's just starting out and cord keeping. Uh, so I said I haven't him, but I'm um, having problems getting hold of um, the canned oxygen. Uh, everywhere seems to be sold out at the moment, so if anybody knows where I can get some, uh, I don't know, no Quenny do it, but they're out of stock. There's a few other places that do it, but they're out of stock. And I don't really want to transport the fish, bag them up and transport them without actually putting oxygen in. And unfortunately I can't sort of like bag them up and go to my dealer because I'm going to be leaving early in the morning. But yeah, so like I say, so if anybody knows where I can get some, let me know. Now, the Yamazuki Ozone over there. Now, that is growing. I've only had it a few weeks, and it is piling the size on already. You know, I'm, I've not had it out, but I reckon in a few weeks I've had it, I mean, there's a good... 3 cm, possibly a bit more it's grown. Um, so, uh, yeah, I know it's Jumbo Bloodline and they do grow, but yeah, definitely, definitely they've been growing. I think that's going to be sort of like a bit of a bit of a fish. And again, there's my platinum down there, and that's actually growing as well. When, when I first put it in, um, it was about the same size, if not a little bit smaller, than... Where is it? There it is, yeah. Sorry, I can't see because there's light on the, light on the screen there. Yeah, a little bit smaller than the young men over there. But if, you can, if we can get a shot of them together in a minute. I've turned the air off so they're doing all their herding and everything like they normally do. Yeah, but no, the platinum was, you know, same size, a little bit more than the Goski. And um, he definitely seems, oh, there you go, look. He's now slightly bigger. So he, he seems to be growing well as well, which I'm pleased about. Now, um... Koi Diaries is just uh, announcing news on, on his channel, uh, Andy from Koi Diaries. Uh, if you subscribe to my uh, video, show, no doubt you'll be subscribed to his. Um, but if you haven't seen his latest one yet, uh, he's got news on a, a growing show uh, next year um, from Adam Byers, Koi Farm. Uh, it's either going to be a Kohaku or um, 
a shower. So I won't see this longer. Uh, I'll let you go over to his uh, channel, check it out, and if you're interested in taking part, um, just register your interest in the comments down below with him. And uh, I mean, it's a really good price, it's a really good price. And uh, as most of us know, Adam Byer just, just produced some very good quality fish. So they're looking at probably around about May next year. So pop over to Andy's channel, I'll post a link down below. Uh, for that specific video where he's talking about it and um, go have a look yourself and like I said if you're interested just register your interest uh, I'm going to have a go why not if I can clear some room that is <laughs> yeah running out of space anyway let's uh, get on with the jobs and I'll speak to you in a bit I'm going to swap these over again. Um, you see the white ones picking up a lot of stuff, a lot of algae in there. And the carbon, I think they're pumping through extra chlorine, so doing it every two months, like I said earlier. Um, now mine's on a timer down here, so I've got it trickling in a couple of times a day there rather than have a constant trickle because I'm on a water meter, so it all costs a lot of money. So, but what I've got here is if I just unclip this here, you've got one of these um, stop hoses when you connect, even though it's turned on at the tap, um, that stops water coming through. So I'm not going to go into this too much, I've covered this before. Take your ring. what I show you is these. Now that's all it is. Now I did cover this before but I can't alliterate um, how handy these are when you uh, try to line up these cartridges. Um, once I put new ones in I'll show you what I mean about these but these for what they are a couple of quid for a three these make life so much easier when you're changing these in the three stage to the core. So, once you got these off and you're putting in your new cartridges, you've got the hole in the bottom, so you can line that up quite easily. But what you get, if you're a doddering old git like me, and you've never got a steady hand, it rocks and rolls. And when you're trying to offer it up uh, to the hole in the top, it sometimes you know, it can be a bit of a fat to get it going in. But, all you do, one of these, just pop it on around the top, push it down a little bit. look yeah it holds it steady more lined up makes the life a bit easier so off 
offering up should be a lot easier. You see? So, a bit of a bit of a disaster there. Nothing to do with little clips or anything like that. But um, on top here, when you sort of like put your cartridges on and stuff like that, you've got little valves that you're supposed to push down, spring-loaded valves so that they bleed. And because it's in the sun, uh, these are broken off, and it's the spring that holds them up tight, get a tight seal. Um, hopefully that'll hold. And you see, just a gentle push either way, and these are uh, letting water through. So I've just had to move my timer over here to that side there. So when the water shuts off, uh, it prevents it from coming in here. And hopefully I ain't going to lose too much water. So contact buyer, because I, well, yeah, I suppose it, I suppose I've had it over a year, but just see, that's the only one that's all right. But I suppose being out in the sun where it is, it's in full sun most of the time, as you can see at the moment. And the uh, plastic does degrade in the sun. So I might have to get a new unit. unit. Andy, uh, mate, you know, I understand you've got one going. I know you're giving it away in a competition. Mm. Let's see what we can do about that. But anyway, yeah, so all on, and you can see the little ring sat in there holding it. And like I said, I think I paid it was about, it was about two quid, two, three quid all three of them and it just one of them little things that you need and it just makes life a lot simpler What sort of price range are you sort of talking about in here? Just out of interest. Many thousands, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I watched one of your regular customers on here, Mel James. Yeah. Yeah. Most of this fish from come from you, I think. Yeah. yeah. Could the last one come out of this pond, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a funny chap, isn't he? What a chag. What? That's got some bulk on it though, isn't it? It's carrying a lot of weight, that one. Yeah. Honey. 
the Yamabuki over there. And that's how ours is going to end up. She said, she said, said to me the other day, she said, I want a yellow one. And I said, well, what do you mean I want a yellow one? Yes. She said, the yellow one. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said right, so Yamabuki over on. She said, yeah. So we've been out and bought to Jumbo, but it's only 26 at the moment. I've had it in the pond three weeks. Yeah. It's put on 5 p.m. already. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it pushes, I mean, it pushes the big ones out of the way of feeding time. You know, it gets in there. This is like the one in the colour Yeah. Well, I've got two big showers. And they're, they, I mean, I could put the feeder on. Them and they just sit there, mouth open, taking it in. But you know, this yummy that we've got, it just dives in over the top, gets in, squeezes in between them, and yeah. pushes them out of the way. What do you feed? Uh, I think you get fat going in here. Yeah. Normally, it's my own food for the rest of the Yeah. Your own food, as in some, like, you. You yeah. blend it together yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Who's that from coping or yeah. Mm. Anything take your fancy dip? Anything take your fancy? No, it wouldn't be. Well, it would be if we could have gone in the Exmouth for the day, but I'm called in here on the way down. But What food yeah. ranges do you do then? Fucky, your own? I've got uh, Evolution Africa and Steve at home, so I'll have some of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I tend to use aqua sauce and um, I've used sake, but uh, well, I just found it too expensive, really. So, uh, that's a reasonable price. Uh, it is a big chunk, yeah. Um, JPG I'm using as well. I'm using Shory. JPG, Shory and Aqua Sauce all season mix. I quite like the Shory. It's good for the whites. It's the only one I've found that sort of like keeps the whites nice and crisp. You get a lot of people turn up, and you've got a lot of regular. Once you know where it is, yeah. Because really, I mean, if we only got lost, I suppose we could have got here in about an hour and hour and fifteen minutes, I suppose. So it's not far for us to travel, really. So this may. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, even, 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 yeah, but what I'm saying is sort of like, you know, as sort of like coming to get equipment or coming to get a new fish, it's not, not a million miles and it's travelable and it's safe enough to get the fish back, you know, in, in one piece, yeah. Shall we go have a look for that else, I'm getting a bit of a sweat on now.
Which one, look? Black one. Yeah. Well, they do say that every 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 point you, they do say the Japanese say that every pond should have a black toy for good luck. But that's like I said, it's not something you see very often. Yeah. 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 So these are all bred on site. These are all his own, this is why they breed in their own mud pond. Mm -hmm. That's a nice fish. So uh, that's it for this week, um, not a lot, not a lot going on and obviously family stuff, days out and stuff like that getting in the way. Um, I was hoping to have uh, some samples of the new K Plus media, both the white and the black. I spoke to uh, Evolution Aqua at the beginning of the week and they were happy to send me some so um, hopefully they'll turn up during this week coming and um, I'll be able to sort of show you what they actually look like, what they feel like and uh, depending on how much they send me I can sort of like chuck it in the 220, um, well the white stuff not sinking, uh, swing it in the 220 and we'll just see how fast it matures. Um, I was going to talk about the effect of uh, rain on uh, in your when it comes down in large quantities on your pond, uh, I might do a midweek on that one. I believe there's a couple of guys who spoke about it already anyway, other YouTubers. So I don't want to repeat the stuff that's going out. Um, ACM Koi, uh, um, I'll sort of put it up in words there. If you're going to go there and have a look, um, ring first. Um, I'll put a link to the website down below. Um, ring first uh, so you can give your directions in. Uh, Google Maps or mine. Uh, didn't take me to where it was and the sat nav didn't take me to where it was and I weren't far, I was only a couple of hundred metres away but um, little tiny roads and you can't really sort of see it from off the road, there's no sign postage to the place. Um, at the moment his uh, stocking levels aren't that huge because he didn't do, with Covid, didn't do uh, any importing from Japan earlier on this year. Um, he may do an autumn uh, harvest sort of like the October harvest he may bring in some stuff from there. You've still got a fair few fish to check and especially if you've got a big wallet and you want something rather large for your pond. Um, yeah he's definitely got something worth looking at in there in the uh, show show pond definitely. But yeah um, very nice person, uh, very nice to speak to and uh, not a bad little setup. Uh, but all right guys uh, stay safe and um, look after yourselves and enjoy life. All right take care. Bye-bye.